even in Australia. Oh hey, you guys probably remember this book called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. It's a book about a kid who's like having a bad day, about all sorts of things, like he wakes up and there's, there's gum in his hair, and he drops his sweater, and he trips on his skateboard, and his brothers get the most cereal, and he doesn't get to sit in the car where he wants, and, and then he doesn't get things he likes for dinner. He just complains and points out everything in the whole book that's been going wrong with his day. It makes me think about coping. I've asked some students, how do you cope with something? And they look at me like, I don't remember what that word means. Remember, to cope is to handle things. Like when you're dealing with things that you're uncomfortable with, that you don't like, you have to cope with them. You have to handle those things in a healthy way. When I look at this book, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day, it makes me realize Alexander is not coping very well. In fact, this book shouldn't be called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. This book should probably be called Alexander and his bad attitude. He has a bad attitude through this entire book. He complains about everything. He complains about his brothers and how much cereal they have. He complains about his friends being upset with him. And he complains about his teacher being upset with him too because, well, he's not doing the work that he should. He complains about his bath, like he can't add a little bit of cold water to the bath. Alexander has a bad attitude through the entire book. Makes me think, where does an attitude come from? It comes from yourself, it comes from your brain, all of us are involved with thinking our way through the day. We all get to choose the two kinds of thinking that we can do. And we can do positive thinking or we can do stinking thinking. Positive thinking and stinking thinking. Positive thinking is obviously looking at the bright side. Stinking thinking is looking at the negative side, complaining about everything that's going on. Like positive thinking it includes things like, yeah, it's no big deal. I can handle it. This is going to be cool. Man, this could be fun. I think this is going to work out really well. Stinking thinking, on the other hand, includes saying things to yourself like, I hate this. It's not fair. Nobody likes me. I can't do it. This is too hard. This sucks. I hate this. People say things like that to themselves all the time. The problem with stinking thinking is that you're really not coping at all. In fact, you're only making things worse by complaining about or focusing on the things that are going wrong. Like if you're in a situation where the test is a challenging test and you start thinking to yourself, oh, it's too hard, I can't do it, I can't. I'm, I'm going to flunk this test. And you just begin to focus on how difficult it is and, and the difficult situation you're faced with. You're not coping, you're just sinking yourself deeper and deeper into this feeling of despair or desperation. Like I can't do it, I can't handle it, I'm going to fail at this situation. That's not coping, that's just making things worse. However, with positive thinking, you're focused on how you can achieve or you can succeed through this difficult situation where you say things to yourself like, this is going to work out, I can do it, this is going to be okay, if I keep trying, I can succeed, try, try again, you've heard these things before. When you start to focus on what's going well in your life, you can begin to recognize you're going to get through this situation and instead of dwelling on what the bad things are going on, you begin to focus on what you can do and how you're going to get through the situation. Positive thinking, it's a lifelong challenge. It's something you have to consciously bring yourself aware of about how you're talking to yourself. And if you find yourself doing the stinking thinking, you just simply have to stop. You have to instead begin to think, okay, I know this is a difficult situation. However, I'm going to get through this. What can I do to get through it? Well, I'm going to try harder. I've got some good resources. I can talk to some people who can help me out. There's all sorts of things you can do to begin to focus yourself on the positive. For instance, if people are teasing me, telling me I'm too fat and ugly, and if I say, oh my gosh, they're right, I'm ugly, I stink, that's doing the stinking thinking. That allows those comments to sink deeper into myself because I'm adding to it. I'm simply supporting what they said by saying they're right, I stink, I'm ugly, or whatever. However, when people make those comments and they say, oh man, you're fat and ugly or whatever it could be, say they don't know what they're talking about. Nobody's perfect. I'm proud to be who I am. And if positive thinking, it's a skill that we have to work on. It's a skill that we have to practice. And I expect you to start looking toward positive thinking as a way to cope with difficult situations. Remember to cope is to deal with situations in a healthy way. Thank you for listening.